Hello people of Lagos, my name is Ayopunle and um, today is just a very pathetic and sad day for me. You know, living in Lagos is right now a nightmare, it's just extremely tough. I, I, I don't believe that life should, I mean to, to just exist should be this difficult and it's really frustrating. I live in Lekki and I am attempting to take my kids to school in Ekwe, in the Jabu Do Lewu area. And a journey that normally from my house to Ekwe Junction, that should normally take me 45 minutes, has taken me three hours. Can you see how the, the camera is shaking? It's because the road is really, really bad. It, that journey has taken me three hours. First, this road that is really really bad now if, if I, I did a video on, on a few uh, months ago just before the rain started how on, on how this same road was really really bad and our government Lagos State government came and just poured sand as palliatives into this road now that's those, that sand that you're seeing as is has now made everywhere worse it is worse now it's really it's just really frustrating doing anything in lagos anyway that aside after a journey of 45 minutes this morning has taken me three hours to get to alaro city the so-called modern city that lagos state is spending our money on now i got to that city let me flip it let me just can you see how bad this road is right now can you see that that this is lucky expressway can you see this? This is what we live with every day. I'm a farmer, so I, I, I travel this road almost every day when I go to my farm in Ekwe. This is what we live with. Can you see? Now, the real issue right now that is frustrating me is that I got to the Ekwe bridge and it's a total standstill. Said there was a truck that broke down or truck fell over the water or something. But total lockdown. So right now I've had to make a U-turn. I'm going back home. I cannot take my kids to school today because there's not even any other form of alternative to go from Lekki towards a side. Zero alternative. What kind of government does that? What kind of government does that in 2020? God forbid there's even a disaster and we need to escape. There's no road right now. Everybody's landlocked, trapped. And we're dealing with this. See, see those trucks. See, see how bad the roads are. This is Lekki Ekwe Expressway. Where I am right now is less than two kilometers from the modern city that they've been talking about, right? From Ambode Stenion. Now, Shonwulu has picked it up also. Alaro City. And here we are saying we are trying to make Lagos I don't get it. These trucks are breaking down. See this one? The chassis broke inside and it just left there. Look at the road. Can you just beat this? I mean, can you beat this? And this is what we deal with every day living in Lagos. Life should not be this difficult just to exist. We are not asking for stipends. We are not asking for empowerment. We are not asking for... Just come and give us the basic things. Let us just be able to exist and do life as normal human beings without all these unnecessary frustrations. Then you come out and come after us again with all sorts of taxes. Last week, a customer was coming to my shop with his truck. Some idiots from the local government came and said they wanted to just stop him. He had all his documents. He said they were collecting half year duties. And these people, the government, you are empowering this. How? When, when are we just going to get things right in this country? Someone talks about revolution, you, you lock him up. How will this, when are we going to just get things right? I have children growing up. Is this the country they are going to meet? Is this the state they are going to meet? Before you know it now, all of you will be coming here. Uh, oh, you modern Lagos, modern state. Is this your modern state? Is it how you want us to live? 
a journey of 45 minutes. This is what we face. See, Lekki Ekpe Expressway. This is Lekki Ekpe Expressway. I mean, who, 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 how? How can you even be a governor of such a place? And you are proud. And you be, if the day you want to come here now, they'll come and pour sand for you. And everything will look okay. Ah, God has to judge you. God has to judge all of you in government. And it has, he has to do it quickly. Because we cannot continue like this. We want to just live our lives. Let's just live and exist. Let's just live like normal human beings. Just allow us. Permit us. Take your inefficiencies and your, your in, everything. Take it away. Just leave us and let us exist. This is frustrating. The whole of my tomorrow is going to be wasted again now because I have to go back, come back on this journey. Ah!